How to set up the T34 McKinley syringe pump. Who can set up a syringe pump? Any trained registered nurse can set up a syringe pump, providing they have received the correct training and have completed the appropriate self-assessment competencies. These can be found on the intranet. Prescription. Please ensure that the patient has been correctly prescribed a CSCI on one of these yellow forms. Ensure that all appropriate fields have been completed. Where do I get a pump? Please phone the hospital palliative care team during working hours. Outside of these times, please contact General ICU as they hold a small number of McKinley pumps for when needed out of hours. What equipment do I need? Each ward should have their own key for the locked box on their CD keys. Each ward will receive an equipment box that will be delivered with the pump. It should contain a supply of 20ml lure lock brawn omnifix syringes, needles for drawing up with, CME giving sets, SAF T intimers, clear dressings, batteries and prescription charts. Each pump should be in a clear locked box. A protective bag may also be provided. Please remember that each pump must be returned to the palliative care team once it is no longer in use. When patients are discharged from the hospital with a McKinley syringe pump, please ensure a phone call is made to the Red Cross to arrange collection of the pump from the discharge destination. However, if the pump remains on the ward and is no longer required for the patient who it was issued to, then please return it to the palliative care team with the accompanying equipment box. How to set up. There are instructions on how to use the pump on the front. You will find the buttons here along the bottom. At the back, you will find a serial number. You will also find the battery, open and close like so. This is a computer, so please be careful not to drop or damage the pump. There are three detection points, the plunger, collar and barrel clamp arm. Inspect the syringe pump, ensuring it is clean, undamaged and the barrel clamp arm is down and battery secure. Turn on the syringe pump. Keep fingers out of the way as the pump does its preloading checks once the machine is turned on. Preloading. Once the screen says load syringe, Check the battery level by pressing Info and then Yes. Ensure there is enough for 24 hours, which is 35% and above. Next stage is to prime the line if it is a new syringe or new prescription. You must ensure you are using a CME line. Once you have labelled your syringe and primed the line, you are ready to set up the syringe pump. To load the syringe, lift up the barrel clamp arm Line the syringe up along the barrel and use the arrow keys to move the plunger to the right spot. It is important for this to be accurate and not forceful as not to waste any medication. Once the arm has been replaced, pull the barrel arm clamp up and over to secure the syringe in place. Once in place, on the screen it will tell you the brand of syringe, 20ml Braun Omnifix. These are preset within the hospital. You are asked to confirm this by pressing the yes button. The screen will then display the starting volume, duration of infusion and rate of infusion. Once you have written these down, press yes. The screen will then ask start infusion. Once ready to bring the pump to the patient, place the syringe pump into the locked box as shown and lock with the key. The control buttons will still be accessible with the locked box in place. You may see a pump pause too long message appear on the screen. The pump will alarm and the red light will come on. This is normal and it's simply an alert to make sure the pump is attended to. And once completing identity checks, bring the pump to the patient, connect line to patient.
you can then start the infusion. To lock the keypad, press and hold the info button until it beeps. Ensure the green light flashes and the main screen says pump delivering. For four hourly checks, you will find the infusion rate and time remaining on the main screen. And to check the battery level and volume remaining and volume infused, press the info button twice. Unlock the keypad by pressing and holding down the info button and wait for the beep. Press the stop key, press and hold the on and off button. Disconnect the syringe from the line, then remove the syringe from the pump and you are ready to start again with all of the checks from the beginning. You must never disconnect a syringe pump from a port to give PRN medication. Also, you must never disconnect a syringe pump without first disconnecting the line from the patient. Who can give me advice if I'm not sure what to do? If, after watching this video, you need more assistance and support, please speak with the assigned super user on your ward. You can also contact the staff listed here.